Have you ever gazed up at an airplane soaring across the sky, gracefully tracing arcs and circles? It's a captivating sight, a testament to human ingenuity and our mastery of the laws of physics. But how exactly do airplanes, those massive metal birds, manage to execute these graceful turns? The answer lies in the fascinating world of circular motion. Circular motion at its core is the movement of an object along a circular path. Think of a tetherball swinging around its pole, or a car navigating a roundabout. In each case a force acts towards the center of the circle, pulling the object off its straight path and guiding it along the curve. This force, my friends, is known as centripetal force. For airplanes, achieving circular motion is a delicate dance of forces, a carefully orchestrated interplay of lift, weight, thrust, and drag. And just like a skilled dancer relies on balance and coordination, so too does an airplane depend on the harmonious interaction of these forces to execute those mesmerizing turns. Imagine an airplane cruising at a steady altitude. The four fundamental forces of flight, lift, weight, thrust and drag, are in perfect equilibrium, allowing it to maintain a straight path. But when the pilot decides to turn, this balance is intentionally disrupted. To initiate a turn, the pilot uses the ailerons, which are small flaps on the wings, to tilt the airplane. This tilt, known as banking, is crucial. It's the secret sauce that allows the airplane to change its direction. Why? Because banking tilts the lift force, the force that keeps the airplane aloft, giving it a horizontal component. This horizontal component of lift now acts as the centripetal force, pulling the airplane towards the center of the turn. The steeper the bank angle, the greater the horizontal component of lift, and the tighter the turn. But wait, there's more. The airplane's angular velocity, or rate of turning, also comes into play. Imagine swinging a ball on a string. The faster you spin, the greater the angle the string makes with the vertical. Similarly, an airplane with a higher angular velocity will experience a greater banking angle for a given turn radius. Banked turns are just one example of how airplanes utilize circular motion. Pilots employ a variety of maneuvers, each with its own set of forces and challenges. Consider the vertical loop, a breathtaking display of aerial acrobatics. At the bottom of the loop, the airplane is essentially flying upside down, yet it doesn't plummet to the ground. How is this possible? The answer, once again, lies in the manipulation of forces. At the bottom of the loop, the lift force acts upwards, opposing the downward pull of gravity. However, the lift force is now greater than the weight, providing the necessary centripetal force to keep the airplane moving along the circular path. As the airplane climbs the loop, the roles of lift and weight gradually reverse, with weight eventually contributing to the centripetal force at the top of the loop. These maneuvers highlight the incredible precision required in piloting. Pilots must constantly adjust the control surfaces, managing the interplay of forces to maintain the desired flight path. It's a testament to their skill and understanding of aerodynamics. Throughout all these maneuvers, the four fundamental forces of flight are constantly interacting, engaged in a delicate balancing act. Lift opposes weight, keeping the airplane aloft, while thrust battles drag, propelling it forward. Maintaining this balance is crucial. If one force overpowers the others, the airplane's stability is compromised. Too much lift and the airplane climbs, too little and it descends. Too much thrust and the airplane accelerates, too little and it slows down. Pilots use a combination of instruments and their senses to monitor these forces, making constant adjustments to maintain equilibrium. It's a continuous process of fine-tuning, a testament to the dynamic nature of flight. Understanding the principles of circular motion is essential for safe and efficient flying. By grasping the concepts of centripetal force, banking, and the interplay of lift, weight, thrust, and drag, pilots can navigate the skies with precision and grace. So next time you see an airplane tracing arcs across the heavens, remember the intricate dance of forces at play, a testament to our ongoing quest to conquer the skies.